Sawa'ala. Good morning. How is everyone doing this fine, beautiful morning? Woo. I'd just like to take some time here to, um, you know, to acknowledge um, the elders, the keepers of the knowledge, and also um, the medicine people that have come from far, and also to acknowledge the children for again that they are our leaders, our future leaders. I was watching this little one here. She was smudging this morning and it was so beautiful to see those that those teachings are carried out. I also would like to acknowledge the youth of this of this beautiful circle. For they are the ones that will also carry out in the next generations. So, you know, with that, we are all being, you know, observed at this time by the, by the children and the youth. They watch us how we are and they pick those things up. So one of the messages, my first message is, is to you, is to how are you? Evaluate yourself to where you're at and how you walk. And just to, to say a little bit about myself, I was born and raised in this beautiful country of Lillooet. And I, and I journeyed to many places to observe and watch the different um, cultures that are happening out there. And I learned from many people. So, you know, I carry some of the messages of not only the ones from here, but from the ones from other nations, and I would like to acknowledge him at, at this time. One of my teachers, the uh, late Melvin Graybear, for you know, for he has helped many nations and communities. He's gone to a lot of the um, a lot of the different nations to help them. And I do believe that he's still here today helping us on this path from the other side. I would like to also acknowledge my family that stand behind me, for they are my support in my journey. And the love that they have today or this gathering is on water and yes water is one of the most powerful thing that we use and as our as our um, our chief acknowledged that we are part of water our, we are we are water she talked also about the um, how the water gets affected by the negative and the positive. And the same happens with us. When we are in our balance, when we are happy, joyful, all those beautiful things, we shine, we glow. But when we have those ones that, that tear us apart, the jealousy, the anger, the separation, the division, 
and that we take on that. And it's, and it affects not only the children, but the plants and the animals to how we are. Our thoughts that go out that are negative. Someone that you may not like, you say something and then have that judgment. Catch it before it goes out because it creates a discordant energy that affects where we're at at this time. So as I said, we are part of water. Honor yourself. And as water being sacred, you are all sacred. There was a lot of talk about the global warming, warming the ecosystem. We could stop that if we change. You heard the speakers. It's time. We're in the last hour. December 21st is six months away. We can stop that discordant energy that we throw out to Mother Earth, to her gas belts, to the elemental kingdom, to the animals. We are responsible for those things that are happening today. Someone had said, you know, this is our land. But my belief that this, we have borrowed this for this time. And how are we looking after it? So evaluate yourself. Where am I today? Am I ready for December 21st? Have I forgiven those ones that need to be forgiven? Our loved ones, our families, our neighbor across the street, or the person that done something to you 20, 30 years ago. You carry that. And it makes sickness in your body because it's, it's, it's energy. So today, so today I'm going to ask you to step it up, to take that step. If there's somebody here that you need to forgive, go up to them. You know, I seen a beautiful thing yesterday with the sister. She went up and uh, she apologized to someone for a word she had said. And wow, that was healing. It just touched my heart. So where are you? Where are you, my dear people? Where are you in your journey? Are you ready? Are you ready to stop the discordant energy and putting out those thoughts that, that create all these things? The anger and the hatred, they cause those tornadoes. And it's sad. So it's time, we're in our time, we're in our last hour. There's lots of assistance and help here. The sweat lodges, the ceremonies. This is our fourth year. Where are you in this? Like you heard our brother Lee Brown talking about for every year, and this is the last year of gratitude. And he also said, let go. Let that Whatever it is, let it go. Don't take it to the next on uh, to the next level on December 20, 21st. 
I had the honor of, of running the sweat last night. It was very powerful. There was probably around 50 women in there. It was amazing. And again, there was, um, we had the four races sitting amongst in the, in the sweat lodge. And the teachers before said a lot of that is happening now. The four races are coming to sit in the ceremony. So last night I've asked the, I asked the yellow race to pray, the black race, my beautiful sister from the north, the white race, and our grandmother, our people, to pray. Our rock keeper outside said the sweat was just a raising. So yes, there's lots of good, good things happening. But remember your water, your sacred. Remember your thoughts. They go out and create. They create the discordant energy. And we could stop this global warming. We can stop these things if we ourselves make that decision to make that change for ourselves. So who's ready to step it up? So today I'm going to ask you to go out. If you have any um, hard feelings to somebody, go and apologize. Let's stop this. Let's create that beautiful, um, the water to how it is with the love, the light, and all those good feelings of joy and happiness. Let's stay in that, let's stay in that place when we get to December 21st. We can do that. And remember, the children are watching, the youth are watching you to how you walk. And when you are in that way, you know, they pick that up. Allow them to pick up the good. Allow their water to be pure. So, Tomorrow is the completion of the four years of this gathering. And it's come about, as you heard, through the visions, through the dreams. And you know that you come here and you feel the energy. And it has been overlighted by the ones in the spiritual world. You know that they've been watching over this and they've been guiding. And I, for myself, I would really like to see this to carry on. So my dream and my wish is that another nation will pick this up. And, you know, to carry on these gatherings. For we still have a lot to teach to the little ones and the youth. So it's been an honor to be part of this gathering in the last four years. In praying for all of you to come in to make the change and to heal and to grow. And I thank each and every one of you for all your beautiful energies and that you bring, your songs, your prayers. So today, Let's move forward. And I forgot one more. Gratitude. What are you grateful for? 
There is so much to be grateful for on this day. The fact that we are given another day to live to fulfill our purpose here on Mother Earth. Grateful that we're alive. Grateful for this young one here. Grateful for our families. Feel the gratitude in your heart. Feel the love. Creator and Mother Earth has given us so much. It's time that we give back to her and stop our discordant energy that harms her, harms her gas belts, harms the mountains, the elemental kingdom. So really be careful in your thoughts, in your words. We can stop this, like I said. Be grateful. I thank you all again for allowing me to be here and to share. And I'd like to take this time to say a prayer. Ho oh, Kakukpi, grandfathers, grandmothers, our ancestors of this valley, our powerful ancestors that have come and have gone on. I thank you for allowing us to be in, this, in your territory, for it is your territory. I give thanks to the many ones that have continued to watch and guide over us in these last four years. I give thanks to Mother Earth and the Keeper the goddess of Mother Earth that continues to look after her. I thank you, Mother Earth, for allowing us to feel your heartbeat at the time we need to feel your heartbeat when we are down. I thank you, Father Sky, for allowing us to see your sky. I thank you for the four races of people that we've come together that we can join hands and help and assist in saving of Mother Earth. I thank you for the many medicine people acknowledge, and all the knowledge keepers and all the ceremony keepers. I thank you for our children, our babies, our youth. I thank you, Creator, for you give so much. Touch our hearts today. Allow us to feel and have an open heart to listen to these next speakers that are yet to come. I thank you again from my heart for all that there is and all that there will continue to be for protecting us and watching over us. Kukshtam Kau, Takam Nanshnukwa, all my relations.